Hi, I'm Lauren Dunning, and I'm currently taking computer science and software engineering. And recently, we have been working with Arduino microprocessors and how to power LEDs um, with resistors on a breadboard. Um, so we've been working with the Arduino IDE to uh, run a code that was our, um, already included in the IDE, I believe. Um, and then I also have uh, my Git Kraken repository with my different commits that I'm going to show you um, in my branch Blink and onboard LED Blink. First, I'll show you my initial Blink commit. This is what the program looked like before I made any corrections to it. You can see that the pin set up on my Arduino for this code to run through is LED built into the Arduino microprocessor. And I don't want it to display in the microprocessor. I want the, the power and the code to be run to um, the breadboard where the, the LEDs will be, the, the bigger LEDs than the one that is built in onto the Arduino. So that is what the initial commit looked like before I made any changes. And then let me check out the next one, so you, we can view that. And then you can see with this one, instead of it saying um, LED built-in, I put 12. And that's pin 12 on my Arduino board for it to go through. So, um, and then you can see, turn pin 12 to high so LED turns on. And it's going to wait for a second, and then it's going to turn off, and then wait for a second, and repeat that in a loop. This is in C++, by the way, just so you know. Um, so this is the, the updated... Um, version where it's just going to make one LED blink through an output of 12. And so I'll show that video to now um, of the one blink. So here you can see my Arduino microprocessor on the right here, and um, it's plugged into a pin 12 with the red wire that connects to the board, and then this, the resistor's right here, and this is the white LED that's going to flash on and off. This one connects to the ground on the Arduino, and then it connects to the negative tra um, track on the breadboard, and these connect um, the power the power of the board to the negative line of the board, the negative track of the board, excuse me. Um, and if I play it, you can see it blinking on and off. I'll replay it because it was short. So yeah, that was the one blink. Next, I'll show you the, the blink that had um, two blinks with it. So you can see right here, I have a resistor here and a resistor there. And then my LEDs are here. And then as I explained, I have um, the same thing for uh, um, j the jumping wires. And I have the ground wire, and then those two red wires connect to uh, pin 11 and 12 right there. Um, this one is 12, and this one is 11. So there they are blinking. And then let me show you the code in my Arduino IDE. Here, I just did the exact same changes that I made with um, LED built into 12, where I added 11 as an output option, and then I added the same um, code underneath uh, uh, pin 12 for pin 11, so it does the exact same thing at the exact same time, except this one, instead of just going on and off every second, I also included a loop for it to wait for two seconds and then wait for a quarter of a second. So it switches it up a little bit, but they're still going to be in sync. So that's um, why you can see here, there they go, number 12 and 11. So, and lastly, I'll show you my three blink. This is my third blink where I have, again, the same thing. I just added 10 as an output, and then I did the exact same code for um, that I did for 12 and 11 as I did for pin 10. And then I also have that wait for two seconds, wait for a quarter of a second loop at the bottom here. So, and then here is the final video of my, my three blink. So, here's one resistor, here's the set another resistor, and here's another resistor. And then these are the three jumping cables from the... The, the negative track to the, the main of the breadboard. And then these three red wires are connected to uh, 12, 11, and 10. Um, and this is 12, 11, and 10, respectively, for the LEDs. And you can see them blinking on and off. So yeah, that is what I've been working on recently. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.